Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another product review. And today I'm going to be doing another coffee-based item. Um, so this qualifies under my series of coffee reviews, but it also qualifies under my series of things that have been advertised to me on social media that I've then purchased to test them out to see if they're worth it to then tell you. And today's item we have is copper cow coffee copper cow coffee um, uses alliteration in their name but uh, you see here this is basically what they are they're little individual pour over coffees and they come in these little packs I got a variety pack it came with five different flavors um, this is the smallest like thing that I could have gotten that had somewhat of a variety they specialize in pour over but also like in what they call Vietnamese coffee uh, when you open up the box it says to brew it your way American style or Vietnamese style and I think that's just how much water you add to the pour over anyway you take the packet it has a little instructions on the back of how to open it up you open up the packet, you pull out this guy. I've already like expanded it. Um, it has a little top that you rip off to expose. It just look, looks like a little pack of coffee and a filter pod. It has these arms that are supposed to fit over one coffee cup. Um, I originally tried to do this with my typical coffee cup, but my typical coffee cup is too wide and like the arms were just too stretched out and it didn't feel like it was going to sit nicely so I got a smaller cup for this purpose um, so the instructions say you open the filter you hang it you pour the coffee on it for Vietnamese style you pour two to three times for a total of three to four ounces for American style you fill six to eight times with eight to ten ounces I have over here just under a cup so somewhere around six ounces I would say so it is kind of in between actually um, but this was just boiling in my kettle I'm going to add it to the pour over like so don't worry I brought some paper towels to pick up the spills that will most likely happen so I fill the top till I see it just reaching that top area. For the purpose of this video, I'm just doing, if you saw it, I don't know where I put it. This is the original flavor. Where's that black piece of plastic I just had? Behind? It's right in front of me, but it's white, so I didn't see it. This is classic. But um, in this packet, I also have salted caramel, vanilla, and churro. Um, this pack also had a lavender flavor, um, but uh, my wife had that one. She liked it. All right, so the water has settled through here. I'm going to add a little bit more to the pour over. Exciting. And just a little bit more until I get my full amount that I pour here. Sop up some of the water that I spilled. Squeeze out. Put that away over there. Okay. So, not a whole lot of coffee in there. Then, the other magical part of this is they give you this little packet of condensed milk 
and the ingredients of this is just sugar and milk. And it says add milk to taste. Well, I want to taste it all, so I'm going to add it all. So this is really like the Vietnamese part about it that I know of, because anytime I've had Vietnamese coffee, they've always served it with sweetened condensed milk. Then stir it up. In these, in the packs you get, you always get the same amount of creamers as you get coffee filters. So five coffee filters, five creamers. They also sell packs of just creamers and packs of just coffee filters. All right, so now I have my coffee that's filled about to right here. Let's give it a taste. Very sweet. Which is what Vietnamese coffee that I've ever had has been. It's always been really creamy, really sweet. And then it's done. So, a lot of work for not tons of coffee. And it's gone fairly soon. Um, flavor wise, the coffee flavor came through. Um, when I was talking later about the lavender flavor that my wife had. I tried that as well. And it had a, a very pronounced lavender flavor. You can smell it, it was floral, you can taste it. Um, with this one, it was just classic coffee flavor, so it didn't have anything added to it besides just black coffee. Um, it's okay. Is it worth it, though? I don't know. It's a lot of, a lot of packaging. You got your plastic bag here, your filter here. Your creamer pack in here. All of that to make half a cup of coffee. I don't know if it's worth it. Um, also, price wise, for that cup, it was definitely not worth it. Um, you can go to their website, eh, Copper Cow Coffee, probably just that.com. Don't see anywhere on here where it says it for sure, but look it up you can see the price it was um, expensive for a half a cup of coffee for sure did it taste great yes very sweet um, the creamer packets are a hundred calories they also come in a coconut creamer packet for people who are not consuming dairy and the coconut creamer has 110 calories this variety pack did not come with any of the coconut creamers. Uh, they also sell tea, pa tea packets and teapods on their website. Didn't get any of those to try. I'm glad I found the smallest thing to try here because I like a big cup of coffee. And this was definitely not a big cup of coffee. Uh, so flavor wise, yes it's good. Value wise and trash wise not good anyway hope you enjoyed that video hope that uh, helps you in deciding if you see the ad for this product if you want to try it or not and we'll see you in the next one so long